Hello you lovely lot, my name is Max and welcome back to my YouTube channel and another Nottingham Forest video. Yes, we are back with another tactics and transfers video talking about the potential signing of former French youth international and current mind centre-back Moussa Niakate. The fee is believed to be in the region of around 15 million euros and that would sign a really talented centre-back of 26 years of age who is going into the final year of his contract. In this video we'll be discussing his role in that Mainz team and and how they've been playing this season which has led to them finishing eighth in the Bundesliga, his potential role in Steve Cooper's team in the Premier League and a little bit of background work firstly on the player himself. So before we get into that don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe whilst you're down there if you're new to the channel. Over 100 new subscribers to the channel over the last couple of days, thank you very much for joining the channel, hopefully you enjoy the content that will be coming up over the summer period and of course the match previews will return next season when we return to the Premier League. And with that being said, let's get into this transfer profile of Musa Niakate. Let's kick this video off talking a bit about Niakate, his background as a player and a little bit on his style of play and the stats around him. Moussa Niakate is a 26 year old French defender who came through the Lille Academy making his professional debut for Valenciennes in 2014 for whom he will make 77 appearances over a three year spell. A brief stint with Ligue 1 side Metz would see the former French youth international who is also eligible for the Senegal national team join Bundesliga side Mainz for whom he would make over 100 appearances in the Bundesliga. And that would be where he spent his last season making 30 league appearances for Mainz and scoring four goals in the process. During the last year or so, Nia Kate has profiled as a really exciting front-footed defender who is comfortable on the ball, both progressing through passing and carrying the ball through dribbling. And is playing one of the most exciting and aggressive pressing systems in Germany at the moment in the form of Mainz. His real strengths as a defender lie in his possession play, profiling as one of Europe's best defenders at progressing the ball through both carrying and passing, ranking in the top 10% of defenders in Europe for progressive passing at four per match. And these progressive passes also cover a large volume of distance, of course a progressive pass being won over a course of 10 yards or greater, and he ranks in the top 25% of defenders in Europe for distance covered through progressive passes, and is excellent at getting the ball not just into the final third, but is also one of the highest ranking defenders in Europe at getting the ball into the box, and we'll get into why that is a bit later on. But what about his defending, I hear you cry, he is a centre back, his main job should be defending, and as you will see his defensive stats also line up very tastily for this Forest side. His aggressive nature and playing on the left hand side of a back three see him complete four and a half tackles and interceptions per match, putting him comfortably in the top 20% of defenders in Europe for this metric. He's also expected because of his wide position to do a lot of aggressive work, a lot of pressing in those areas, and to be the more aggressive of the defensive unit in that team. And he really excels here too, attempting around 12 pressures per match and being one of the most efficient pressers in Europe with a 40% completion rate. So to summarise all those stats down, Moussa Niakate is a really excellent front-footed defender who prefers to win the ball back in proactive manners through either pressing the ball or tackling rather than in more reactive ways such as interceptions or blocks. That is definitely where his strengths lie as an aggressive centre-back. When he gets the ball, he's fantastic at springing attacks, which we will talk about in a little bit more detail in the tactics section. So yes, with that being said, we're going to now move into the tactics section of this video surrounding his current club Mainz and they definitely profile as an interesting side with some similarities to the way Nottingham Forest play and actually some similarities to the way in which Union Berlin play. Of course this is where Taiwo Awonyi is coming from and you can definitely see the school of thinking with these potential signings. Of course I will leave my sources in the description for this video is a fantastic article from David Seymour on total football analysis which of course will be in the description for this video talking about Bo Svensson and his Mainz side. Okay so as you can see on the screen we've got the tactics board back up. In in blue is Mainz playing their 3-5-2 formation. Important to note that three in the midfield is a very compact midfield triangle which enables them to maintain possession when they counter-attack. And just to also point out our man Niakaite is the left-sided centre-back in this back three. He is naturally left-footed and his ability to progress the ball down the left-hand side is something that Forrest sorely need. Scott McKenna, fantastic defender, not the best on the ball and having someone with a little bit more ambition down the left-hand side would be a huge asset for Forrest and would also let McKenna move into a more central area. Back to Mainz though, they see very little of the ball in their matches, only seeing around 45% possession, so as you can see, they will tend to drop into a deeper position in transitional play. 
And of course, when they're off the ball, as a German side would do, they are one of the best pressing sides in Germany at the moment. Third for opposition passes allowed per defensive action with nine. This is a really good metric for measuring the aggressiveness of a press. If you look at a team like Leeds under Marcelo Bielsa, this ranks in a similar sort of ballpark as those teams. And the pressing is conducted within a very compact zone of the pitch. Mites are a very, very compact side. And the benefit of doing this forces the ball into wider areas for the opposition. And of course, having the touchline here almost acts as another man when you're pressing. It sort of prevents them uh, sort of closing down another angle. And it enables to win the ball in a wider position where, of course, teams are a little bit less of a threat from scoring. And of course, when they do win the ball back, which is usually in the sort of final third, midfield third of the pitch, they will look to spring quick attacks over the top for their attackers to run onto. So what I've done here is I've sort of illustrated the vertical and horizontal compactness of this side. They are extremely hard to play through. They're a team who are very compact, both in the vertical sense and in the horizontal sense. And this ability means that they can pick the ball up from this sort of cluster of a midfield and quickly launch attacks. And Nia Kate is very important in doing this. And I mentioned this sort of compact midfield triangle here in the blue. This is really to maintain possession when there isn't the option for a quick attack, say into the channels here, or build a play through wide areas to cross into the box for the finish. Their role is really to sort of maintain possession, recycle possession when that option isn't available. All three of them very solid on the ball players who can recycle the ball until a better opening is found. And of course, when a team is caught in transition, the ability to a team's counter-attack is very important. And Mainz are very good at doing this. And Musa Niakate is very, very important at doing this. His ability to put balls into the channel for forwards to run into are really sort of unmeasured in the Bundesliga, one of the best in the league at doing that is what I'm trying to say. And it, the ability to do this sort of bypasses the need for play through the midfield. It quickly allows you to transition into the attack, catching opposition numbers upfield and obviously gets better goal scoring opportunities. So as you can see on the tactics board, I moved it into an attacking phase of play. So the 3-5-2 breaking forward. Nia Kate as a defender, as a central defender, is usually the furthest forward defender four mites in these attacks and he's fantastic at receiving the ball in these sort of half space sort of areas in the final third of the pitch and quickly fizzing the ball into the box his crossing ability is actually quite good he does tend to find himself in wider left hand side positions either allowing for overlapping runs from the center back or the left-sided wing back to push the uh, left back or right back for the opposition back he can then find balls into the back post, knock back and score. That's where really his attacking strengths lie. That's why he's a player who ranks so highly with key passes, passes into the box, crosses into the box. That's why he's one of the best central defenders in Europe at doing this because he peels into these left-hand spaces, gets the ball in the box, either looking for a knockdown of the back post or straight into a player to finish off. And he's just really, really good at doing this. And really the speed and the directness of Mainz's counter-attacks are the main way in which they will look to attack. They are one of the fastest teams in terms of attack speed. I believe they're second in the league behind Armenia Bielfeld and are the fourth uh, least passes per passing sequence in the Bundesliga as well. They're very direct and they're very quick on their attacks and Nia Kata's ability to pick the ball up from deeper positions and spread it forward into the final third by bypassing the midfield is really unrivaled in the Bundesliga and is one of the best in the league at doing that. So with that being said, how will Nia Kata slot into Steve Cooper's system at Nottingham Forest for a Premier League side which is going to be very much a freshened up and new look team? What I firstly think his biggest asset is the fact that he has a history of playing three at the back at Mainz, three years in the Bundesliga playing that three at the back system with Bo Svensson and I think that's a really big asset going into a team going onto the left hand side of that defense not really having to have too much coaching in that sense in terms of spatial awareness I definitely think it's a huge asset. He's also a very aggressive and efficient defender when he does go and choose to be the aggressor on his man. He's pretty efficient at actually winning the ball back. Mainz as a team were one of the most efficient in terms of their defensive dual success rate in the Bundesliga last season. I think they might have even been second or first best which obviously suggests the team who when they do make the decision to go win the ball back they usually do go and win it back. And finally he is excellent on the ball and our left hand side the pitch is really crying out for a defender who can help progress the ball with Jack Colback spending the majority of last season playing left wing back and his 
slightly lack of adventurous style. He was a very solid player, but didn't really offer us a lot in terms of progression. Having a left-sided defender who can do a lot of that work through both carrying the ball and through passing the ball is a huge asset to this team. And you can definitely see why this kind of profile of player is somebody that Forrest is looking at. Overall, I think this is an excellent signing for Nottingham Forest and actually going under the radar because I think if you look at the stats for Mainz, if you look at the way in which they play a quick transitioning style, it will really fit into how Nottingham Forest will play next season. We were very comfortable playing counter-attacking and possession based football but moving into the Premier League I think his ability to help quickly transition play uh, through really good long passing abilities is what's going to help us sort of be a bit more direct on the counter-attack than potentially we were at times last season. So that about does it then. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the signing of Musa Niakate. As I mentioned there, I think it's a really, really positive signing. Exactly the profile of defender we need to be going for. Someone who's quick, aggressive, technically very, very good, and an intelligent passer who, when he does pass, is very efficient at doing so. Obviously, there are some questions. The fee hasn't been agreed yet. Personal terms are yet to be agreed. I I believe as well but I do think if we get this deal over the line it could go down as one of the best deals of the summer for Nottingham Forest like I said though let me know in the comments down below what you think of that and whilst you're down there drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell because we will be smashing back into the match previews when the season starts I think in about six weeks time so with that being said thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time I will see you later